not the granddad. <laughs> We won't take a bite out of you. <laughs> Let's just, Eshling, Eshling, on behalf of the people of Tabot, we extend a sincere welcome to you and your family. Whatever they might say in Bally, Eshling, we are claiming you, half of you here in Tabot. Up the red and black, Eamon. Um, our own family and your family go back a long way. Josie came from Ballygockland, fine place, like myself. And a bit of history for you, my father stood for your grandmother when she was born. No. So, the smart money lads is on Ashling for this year's rose. Paddy Powers had so gone from 25 to 1 into 5 to 1 favourite. Maybe Nam will be taken over on the 22nd of August and Siobhan be looking for a new job. Uh, Cadbury's Broken is Ashling's nominated pub for the festival, lads, and Fiona is here tonight. We welcome her and her daughter, Emer, who is Ashling's Rosebud. Um, sincere thanks to Tony Dinhan, who sponsored all the flags, the one things, the trailer, everything for tonight's event. Um, the last time Tabert had a connection with the Rose was 1994. It was Myrna Holly. And as you all know, we're now one at Dash year. So we're hoping, Ashton, that history will repeat itself. All right? Um, I'd now like to call on Tony Deanahan to make a presentation to Ashling. And thank you, not Tony. OK, Anthony. Now, um, I'd like to call on Father John O'Connor to make a presentation to Ashling on behalf of the people of Tabard. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the people of Tarbert, all of us, we would like to present this very beautiful little appreciation, gratitude, and love for Ashling. She is only the. Thank you very much. Now I'm afraid I don't have any speech wrote, and I said on my way home and on the 14 and a half hour flight from Sydney to Dubai, I was like, I'll write my speech. I didn't write my speech, so I apologise. But I said, usually it comes to me when I stand on the stage and hold the mic in my phone. In my hand, I mean. <laughs> but, oh my God, look at the crowd that has come out tonight to support me. And over the last number of weeks and all the phone calls I've been getting from everyone has just been absolutely amazing. Standing here tonight is really surreal. Um, I can't believe that I am actually representing Sydney and returning home to my hometown with all my family and friends around me. 
thank you so much um, to Brita and Laura Lavery for taking the onus upon themselves to organise this for me, for my homecoming and my family and my friends who gathered around them and helping them along the way. These banners and the float, oh, I was only finding out things as I was coming down the road from Limerick and she was like, we have to make the float. I was like, what float is this island? And she goes, oh, we have them all out and, out and flags and the blues, I can't even talk. I actually can't even talk. My little rosebud, Emer, thank you for coming out tonight to see me. I'm very excited to meet her. I can't wait to have some fun back in Chile and we'll have a rosebud party. To all the lovely girls and boys, you look beautiful in your lovely dresses and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, like, honest to God, this has just been amazing. And I can't thank each and every one of you. You're all smiling up at me here. And I'm dead from smiling because, and this is not coming off my face anytime soon either, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, the father just blessed my hands there. He said, um, he said, for the work I do as some of you may know I work as a nurse in Sydney, Australia and I'm absolutely very passionate about what I do and I love um, caring for people and and the support that I've got from Sydney and my Irish Australian community out there and people I've looked after and I'm looking in the crowd here and I've actually looked after some of you in hospitals in Chile as well when I was here and it's lovely to see all the faces smiling back at me and um, I want to thank you all for for everything and for the support that's going to take me to the dome. So, last words, lads, Ash for the sash. Thank you, Ashley. Best of luck in Chile.